アンシーン64プレゼント The first fighting force was developed by Core Design and published by IDOS Interactive for the PlayStation and PC in 1997, the same year in which they released Tomb Raider 2. Core Design was at the peak of their popularity, becoming one of the most recognized teams in the gaming market. Fighting Force was nothing compared to Tomb Raider. It was conceived as a simple 3D incarnation of the classic beat em up formula. Players had to fight their way through different levels, punching and kicking enemies, either in single player or co op, choosing between four different characters. It's interesting to note that initially, Core Design tried to pitch their Fighting Force concept to Sega. To make it a new 3D chapter in the Streets of Rage series as an exclusive game for the Sega Saturn. In the end, Sega and Core had different views and expectations for Streets of Rage 3D and broke their collaboration. Fighting Force was popular enough to get a sequel in late 1999 for the PlayStation and Dreamcast. Fighting Force 2 was kinda different from the original game, as Core Design decided to change it from a linear beat em up to a more action adventure. Multiplayer was removed, and there was only one playable character. Fighting Force 2 was not a great success. With low scores and sales, this was the sad end of the Fighting Force series, but a third unreleased chapter was initially planned, even if it was never officially announced. Fighting Force 3 was in development by Core Design between 2002 and 2003, initially to be released on the PlayStation 2, the original Xbox, and even the GameCube. This time, the team went back to their roots with classic beat em up gameplay, fully playable co op, and four different characters to choose from. In Fighting Force 3, the interactive environment could be used in many ways, such as breaking down a water tube to use it as a mace, impaling enemies on iron bars, and even throwing them under moving trains or against fire to burn them. The team created a good number of fully playable stages, but unfortunately, Fighting Force 3's development was halted in late 2003, early 2004, mostly because of complex issues between Core Design and IDOS Interactive, its parent company at the time. In mid 2003, Core Design released Tomb Raider The Angel of Darkness for the PlayStation 2, and it received low ratings from magazines and reviews at the time. IDOS decided then to move the Tomb Raider series from Core Design to Crystal Dynamics. Unsure of their future and seeing their most popular franchise being taken away, at the end of 2003, many key members from Core decided to leave the company in order to find a new job, and some of them formed a new team altogether called Circle Studio. The remaining Fighting Force 3 team lost most of their will to continue working on the game for IDOS. Development slowed down, and Core found themselves with a lack of developers in order to finish the game. In 2005, Core Design released Smartbomb for the Sony PlayStation Portable, but unfortunately, it was also a big failure for the company. While they were working on a new game titled Free Running, Core Design was sold from IDOS to Rebellion Developments. After a few years working as an internal team for Rebellion, Core Design was officially closed down in 2010. IDOS was not immune to the economic crisis either, and after many years of losses in early 
all of their properties, assets and IPs were sold to Square Enix, including Fight and Force. It's currently unknown if we'll ever see another Fight and Force game in the future, but it's possible that Square Enix have quietly forgotten about this long lost series. You can read more about Fighting Force 3 and other cancelled games on the Unseen64 website. Check the video description for more details. My name is James from That Video Game Show. If you enjoyed this video, why not pop over to my channel, That Video Game Show, which is in the description below. Unseen64 is an independent collective of gamers from all around the world, and in their archive they remember cancelled, beta and unseen video games. Please consider supporting Unseen64 on Patreon to help them to keep the site online and to remember even more games that could be forgotten. Thanks for your support.